Welcome YouTubers to another episode in my Grammar Hero series. In this video, rather than working out a full-length practice test, I'm going to talk about what tools you can use to maximize your performance on the Word Knowledge section of the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, that is the ASVAB. Before I do that, I just want to take a few minutes to talk about the ASVAB itself. Uh, first, I want to point out that the ASVAB is a computer adaptive test that is, it's a test that uh, adjusts its questions according to each individual test taker's ability level. Okay, so in general, the way that works is this. The first question you're given is moderate in terms of difficulty. If you get that question right, you get a slightly more difficult question. And if you get that initial question wrong, you get a slightly easier question and so on and so forth throughout the rest of the test. Um, it's a test, what's more, that's comprised of uh, 10 different subtests, which you can see to the left here, including uh, general science, arithmetic reasoning, word knowledge, paragraph comprehension, mathematical knowledge, and so on. It's a test for which you'll have 154 minutes to complete 145 questions. And uh, it's a test for which, in addition to receiving uh, a score for each subtest, you'll also be given an AFQT score. That is an Armed Forces Qualification Test score. Um, this is the score that says, one, this person's qualified to join the military, or two, this person's not qualified to join the military. Okay, the AFQT is not calculated best based on your performance on all these subtests. Rather, it's calculated based on your performance on the arithmetic reasoning subtest, the word knowledge subtest, the paragraph comprehension subtest, and the mathematical knowledge subtest. So my advice to anyone who's preparing for the ASVAB is to focus 100% of your efforts on these four subtests and disregard everything else. Um, again, the higher you score in terms of your AFQT score, uh, the more everything else should fall into place. Uh, but that said, as a rule of thumb, you want to score in uh, at least category 3B or above. That is, you want to score between uh, 31 and 99. And these score ranges, it turns out, are percentile ranks. That is, if you score a 50, for example, um, that means you'll have scored better than 50% of all test takers, okay? That doesn't mean you got 50% of the questions right, just means that's your relative score compared to all the test takers. So, all that said, let's talk about the word knowledge section and how you can increase your performance on it. Um, first, I want to point out that it's a relatively short uh, section of the ASVAB and its questions are very simple. It's going to say, what is the word that has a similar meaning to this word? Okay, it's A, B, C, D. You should finish this section in about five minutes. There's no math to do. There's no reading to do. It's what's the meaning of this word? It's this word. Okay. Um, that said, um, you want to make sure that you do especially well on these 16 questions. Okay. And the way to do that is to improve your vocabulary and truthfully um, there's not really much you can do uh, apart from um, studying some flashcards if you're an avid reader and um, you know you do well on English this this section should be no problem for you but if for some reason you haven't been reading as much as you need to this is what you need to do you need to go to magoosh.com uh, specifically sat.magoosh.com slash sat hyphen apps um, on this website you're gonna find and I'm gonna show you what that looks like in just a minute over a thousand practice SAT words in and they're in the form of digital uh, flashcards okay so let's go ahead and take a look at that Okay, so this link, which I'll post in the description of this video, will take you to this uh, this screen. You want to click right here, um, SAT flashcards prep and vocab. Um, 
when I was studying for the graduate record exam, um, I actually downloaded the app onto my phone. That way, when I was out and about and had downtime, I would just practice these flashcards. But for now, I'm going to show you what they look like online. So again, um, when you click online, you come to this area. You want to go to Start Studying Online. Then you want to skip all the stuff that's not in regard to SAT vocabulary. And you want to start with SAT Vocabulary Common Words 1. You want to work your way through Common Words 2, 3, Basic, Advanced, Advanced 2, Advanced 3, and Magoosh SAT. Okay? In going through each of these flashcard packets, you will improve your vocabulary at least tenfold. Again, you're given 16 questions on the ASVAB. If you study these 1,000 plus words, you're going to increase your likelihood of seeing those questions on the ASVAB and doing well on that section of the ASVAB. Okay, so let's take a look at what it looks like. Um, so basically, uh, Magoosh flashcards work on uh, the honesty system. Uh, you're basically given a word. In this case, we're given inarticulate, which is hopefully something that doesn't describe me. Um, you'll be asked, you'll, you can click here to see its meaning. And if you knew the meaning, you click, I knew this word, and it will go out of your, um, out of your, your pile of words that you don't know. If you click, I don't know this word, it's just going to repeat itself randomly until you actually learn it. Okay, so I knew this word, complacent. Again, click to see the meaning. You knew it. Get rid of it. Okay? If you guys do this consistently, maybe 15, 20 minutes a day, over the course of a month, you will knock the word knowledge section of the ASVAB out of the park. You can mark my words on that. Okay? So, um, again, a big part of preparing for the ASVAB is knowing how to prepare. Um, in my math videos that I posted recently, I always say you need to take at least uh, 10 practice tests uh, before you take the real ASVAB. As far as the word knowledge section goes, if you just go through these vocab words on magoosh.com, that's all you need to do. So uh, in light of that, I'll go ahead and wrap this video up. Uh, if you found it helpful, uh, please feel free to leave me some feedback in the comments section below or give the video a thumbs up. Uh, on that note, however, I'm going to go ahead and cut you guys loose.